Hi, you're welcome to Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in your spiritual growth. This is a place that you get the undiluted word of God, and this is a place that we get to build your spiritual life, your prayer life. You get to understand the word of God more and even deeper. So I encourage you, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, like this message you're about to listen to, and share with others. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message of today. God bless you. If you do not know how to pray, you will not last. There is a dimension of strength that survives the winds of life that is generated within you when you pray. Luke 18 and verse 1 says, He spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. You must build inner strength. Build inner strength. Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 10. Let's hurry up. 24 and verse 10. Proverbs 24 and verse 10. Watch this. If thou faint in the day of adversity, in the life of everyone, no matter how yielded you are, there is a season that the Bible calls the day of adversity. And the survival strategy in those seasons is strength. 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 Are we together? You have to be strengthened within your inner man. Build capacity. Elijah, build capacity. David, build capacity. Abraham, build capacity. No matter who you are, build capacity. It doesn't matter what you are involved with as far as your prophetic destiny is concerned. Build capacity. And build it early. My sister, build capacity. Because one day you will need it. You will need to draw from the strength. There are times when you are about to take a long journey, you charge your phone. Is that true? And when it is fully charged, you can smile. Because you can approximate that from now till that time you can utilize the strength that the, that the, the, the phone has. That's how it is. I've seen many people's phones and you see it on red. 5%, 2%. The phone does not look like it will die. Notice what happens when the power keeps reducing. Certain features. The phone will start shutting down certain features as a survival strategy. This is what happens with destiny too. The moment your power bank, the moment your energy bank starts going down, certain things may have to shut down. One can be your perception. Your ability to perceive spiritual things will have to shut down. Certain other things will shut down. Like it happens to a phone at 15%, 10%, 8%. There are certain features in that phone that you may not, it's called a power saving mode. There are many believers running great destinies on power saving mode. Whereas there is an opportunity to carry a wireless charger. A charger that does not look for a wall. A charger that answers at the instance of desire. Are we together? Prayer is not a burdensome ritual to just feel spiritual. Can I tell you? You will never be able to run certain visions if you do not have the inner strength that comes through prayer and comes with prayer. What you see in Koinonia today, ladies and gentlemen, is beyond just excellence and the communication of doctrine. There is stamina. There is a power bank that can run certain things in the spirit. Someone sent me a text and said, Apostle, you've been busy all week doing this and that and that and will you have the strength? I said, me? You don't know God. Me and God have been in this business for a while though. There is what we call the spirit of might. You cannot fake it. Believe me. I'm not careless with my health, but you cannot fake it. God will never call you without teaching you the technology that keeps you in strength. There are some of you who carry something for two hours and you will yawn for two days. You are 25 years. You are like a woman who has finished giving birth to 11 children. 
you preach for one hour and return back and say, I, I need a vacation. <laughs> Destiny, wake up. Strength, capacity. It happens through the place of prayer. Somebody went to visit Smith Wigglesworth years ago. His story would tell us that when the guy got there, he greeted him and he kept quiet and there was nothing to discuss. Then Smith Wigglesworth told him, he said, can we pray? He thought he was just, you know, Father Lord, we thank you. They prayed and the guy was tired. He didn't know how to stop Smith Wigglesworth. Then later he stopped. Then they spoke a little. He said, can we pray again? And... <laughs> A powerful way to drive distractors pray pray when visitors come to your house and they refuse to leave pray survival strategies pray tell them all right we've spent two hours just in I think it's time let's lift up our hands and give God praise and everybody will check their time and leave you in peace. Pray. Because people don't like prayer. They like what prayer does. But they hate the discipline of prayer. And it's an attack. Please hear me. If you hate prayer, it's an attack. Don't feel condemned. But know it's an attack. You wake up in the night. Open up your notebook where God has spoken to you. Shama katabarata. Sleepy eyes. Your tired self. Just start praying. Shabrandos Kadiata. Worship is charging the atmosphere. You are a man of God. You don't even know what to do with your church. You've preached every sermon. You just keep praying. As you keep praying, the Spirit of God who can search the heart of the Father will start downloading series to your spirit. You have not taught your people on prayer. You have not taught your... And series can come that can last two years. In the place of prayer every time is convenient for prayer but in my personal experience believe me I have mastered praying at night and it, it has provided the richest return on investment in terms of prayer discipline yourself and pray you're a man of God here with all due respect don't let your members pray more than you why are they there then you should be sitting down Prayer is one of such things you cannot fake. You can come out and act like you are prayerful. If you are not, there is an energy that comes from prayer. That one you cannot pretend it. And the energy is perceivable. Even to somebody who is not saved, you can perceive health. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Listen, the moment seasons become unfavorable, minimize discussions, minimize attracting sympathy. That is the time to lock yourself. Even if you don't understand what is happening, why are people dying in my church? In three weeks, 10 people died. Go and lock your place up. Five of my children mysteriously sick. When they made a deposit of 10 million, somebody just came and caused trouble and that money disappeared. Anytime you sense affliction, negative seasons, go ahead and pray. If most believers will do less of talking and more of prayer, they will triumph in experience. We talk a lot as believers. We have not been called to be noisemakers in terms of speaking gibberish. The energy of the believer should be invested in building capacity. Let me teach you something. If you are a leader and you talk too much, you will lose your honor factor. As a leader, your word should be mighty. The more scarce your word, the more people will listen when you speak. When you run your mouth anyhow, you also run your honor out with it. A time will come your words will be so cheap there will be nobody around you to hear it words are expensive don't waste them don't waste them don't waste them leadership 101 words are expensive 
can I tell you another thing that is expensive your attention don't cheapen your attention attention is an expensive commodity don't invest it in nonsense did you hear what I said your attention is where the direction of your destiny goes to respect your destiny enough to see your attention as an investment don't throw it away over nothing oh, oh, oh rest on me oh, oh, oh rest on me oh, oh, oh rest on me spirit of wisdom say in the name of jesus I build capacity say it prophetically in the name of Jesus I build capacity oh my dear sister build capacity my dear brother build capacity a day will come something will befall you that you will not have all that energy to pray you will draw from the residue of the energy that comes within your prayer bank please pray don't waste moments don't waste opportunities pray Listen, let me encourage you. If your prayer life has gone down, you can join the prayer department as they pray. Even if you are not a member there. Even if it's for one week. If there's space, you can join them to just fan your prayer life to flames. Discern an attack on your prayer. It's an attack on your remaining. It's an attack on your continuity. It's an attack on your stamina. That is why it's important to have believers as friends. Did you hear what I said? Half the time people used to gossip. Half the time people used to talk about people and issues. If they invest half that time in quality prayer, you have any prayer partner that spends half the prayer time gossiping, cast him out of your life. Did you hear what I said? Cast him or her out of your life. Don't waste your time on naysayers and gossips and backbiters who wrap up their gossip in the name of Jesus. Take your destiny seriously. You agree with someone, let us pray. Don't waste your time. And he says, praise God. You've prayed for 10 minutes and you continue speaking nonsense for two hours. Then you wrap it up. You did not pray. You only program woes to your destiny. If you have somebody who should pray, the assignment there is for prayer. Okay, we are praying from 10 to 12. Once it's time, all right, let's begin to pray. Yes, occasionally you may speak to discuss some things to give your prayer perspective. Many prayer warriors have killed the prayer life of their colleagues because they, they wasted that time on gossips and naysayings and false visions. Pray. 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 Shabakatabalakata. Pray. You are a mother. Find another mother who can agree with you. Pray. You are a businessman. Find another businessman who can relate with your realm and pray. Are we together? You are a man of God. Pray that God will bring a man of God who genuinely loves you and prays. Not that he's praying with his mouth and with his heart. He's saying, may you die quick. But when you find people who can agree with you you have your personal prayer altar i have said this endlessly koinonia let me encourage families here build your corporate family prayer altar build it as a discipline now i know that maybe some families may have people who are not born again no problem you can start where you are with wisdom build a family prayer altar pray don't allow the devil come in and ride cheaply into your family by the privilege of God's grace, let me encourage every man here. Take the lead as far as setting the pace for prayer. Don't say I'm not the prayer type. Nobody's the prayer type. God commands that we pray. Are we together now? Obtain grace. Don't say I'm a CEO. Prayer is not for pastors. Don't leave your wife as a naked intercessor with nobody helping her. Yours is just to submit prayer point by text or on a paper. Pray. You can learn prayer. Is someone learning? Build inner strength. This is something God has taught me. One of our fathers in the faith, 
every time I've had the opportunity to see him, particularly when preparing for administration, as soon as I enter his office, he's praying in tongues, praying in tongues, praying in tongues, praying in tongues. He will speak a little, and then once he has a little chance, he's praying in tongues. I said, ah, that's the secret. They understand that capacity is a, necess is a necessary requirement as far as remaining is concerned. Yeah.